On May 7th, as India responded to the brutal terror attack in Pahalgam, Operation Sindur was more than just a counter strike. It was a demo day for India's defense tech ecosystem. While Pakistani missiles came raining in, India sent a clear message that we now make our own drones and they work. Let's break it down. Operation Sindur was the first time that India deployed a wide variety of UAVs in combat. So here's what was flying. Harrow loitering munitions, which are radar hunting kamikaze drones, then Sky Striker drones, which are precision hits made in India by Alpha Elbit, ALS-50 by Tata, which are AI-enabled long-range loiterers, then Nagastra by Solar Industries and Z-Motion, which are deep strike kamikaze drones. Then we have Drishti, the Hermes 900, which are surveillance UAVs deployed by our Adani. Then Switch and Netra by Idea Forge, which are India's go-to ISR drones. And what about Pakistan? They threw in their Turkish Bayraktar TB2s and Assist Guard Songars. But India's layered defense knocked most of them out of the sky, which meant no loss, no damage, and no warning shot. Because this wasn't just retaliation, it was a showcase. So what made Operation Sindhu different? It was more than just the targets. It was how India took them out. Loitering drones for autonomous precision, real-time ISR coordination via satellite networks, and non-kinetic warfare with DRDO's D4 anti-drone systems, and upgraded Shilka and L-70 guns, which were neutralizing swarm threats. So this was agentic warfare without the buzzwords like AI, edge computing, and auto-targeting. So no jargon, just plain results. Suddenly, Indian drones aren't prototypes. They are battle-tested products. And everyone from Southeast Asia to Africa are taking notes. Elbit, Idea Forge, Paras Defense, Adani, Zen, Garuda, Asteria, they're no longer just making drones because they're making deals and here's the game changer. So in Uttar Pradesh, over 15 drone and aerospace companies have set up base. So the Brahmos Aerospace Facility in Lucknow just got inaugurated. And UP is now India's defense corridor, complete with subsidiaries, infrastructure, and plug and place policy solutions. This isn't just make in India, but deploy in India and export to the world. And India's defense startups have never had a better moment. Why? Because the market is real, the government is buying, and the enemy is confirming your product market fit. And global buyers are circling, and PLI incentives are always live. So if you ever wanted to build in drones, defense AI, and battlefield autonomy, this is your call up. Because after Operation Sindur, investors and VCs are no longer asking, can it scale? Because they're asking, can it fly? And this wasn't just a strike. Because this was India rolling up its sleeves and saying, we don't just retaliate, we innovate. And Operation Sindur was India's combat debut for drone tech. And the world just saw the trailer. So the full movie, that's for our startups to make. So let us know what you think in the comments below. This is Front Page by AIM TV, where we decode the signal from the smoke. Like, share and subscribe. And don't forget, Think AI, think AIM.